price prediction and review for PayPal. So buy on blue, sell on purple. Buy on blue, sell on purple. So PayPal looks interesting here, right? 71% chance of success. But what the heck is going on with PayPal? You got to respect two things in our indicator. Number one, if you look at the top, which is the trend box and the alerts, they are all pointing down. Institutional net seller, major retail net seller, minor net seller, retailer. Even on the short term, it's down. Long term down, long term down, long term down. That tells me I cannot put a big size yet on PayPal on the long side for entry. And that tells me that I should really be conservative in my entry on PayPal, which I have an entry here at 45, the edges were at 50, and now I have workout shoulders at 55. So there's three areas that I know PayPal is fantastic. 45 edge, 100% chance of making money. That's the probability power calculator. Second edge, right there, which is the edge we touch, by the way, <laughs> at 50. So I have 45.50 on the bottom, which is a great re-entry and add point for PayPal, especially if the new CEO doesn't execute. Or we can argue, Mark, are we not forming a head and shoulder on your institutional red zone, which is the second way of looking at the charts here. And then in that case, that's 55. And you have a 71% chance of success. So what do you do? Look, I don't want to buy more than 100 shares of a lot of stuff. I don't want more than 100 shares of PayPal, which is $5,800 outlay right now. I would divide that by third. Goes by close to 55, buy a third. Dump again at 50 equal, buy a third. Gets the 45, buy a third. But if you buy a third here and it starts flying, you have a third because then you will have to chase here the edges at 61. You will have to uh, chase the 66 and the edges at 77. So you want to start putting a base for the next five years on PayPal. But the problem, the, the, there's three things I personally don't like with PayPal right now even though it's a very good buy in probability. Number one, there's no net buyers here for short-term trading. I want to see those turning blue, blue, buyers, buyers, buyers. Number two, long-term, it's bad. Long-term, I can take, but I need the short-term to turn up and up and up and up. And then there's one thing that I don't like is that it's consumer-related. Meaning if the consumer is overstretched with debt, then they are not going to spend retail PayPal. And if, if, if we are in stagflation and there's less consumption, it's not great. This is why some of my theme this year was AI. I prefer Palantir than PayPal right now. But this is my price prediction. If you like PayPal, enter 45.50 is your best bet. 55 shoulder, build be prepared because you might have to suffer three to five years on PayPal before you see the price target of 93. 93, you know, people say PayPal double, triple. Look, the calculator doesn't show that. It shows that you have a high probability to go from 76 to 93. Those will be the target on PayPal. And by the way, it's not a bad return on investment. You know, that's like a 50% to 70% plus on PayPal. So this was my price prediction and analysis on PayPal.